How can you plan your workforce to ensure that the production meets the customer's request? Well, tacked time can also be used for workforce planning. In the previous video, I showed you a hypothetical production line with cycle times, but I did not make a distinction between manual time and automatic time. By manual time, I mean the time of the operation in which the man touches the product. By automatic time, I mean the time in which the man does not touch the product, and it is only the machine that works without any human intervention. To plan a workforce, it is essential to divide the cycle time into these two contributions. Let's learn more with an example. Let's go back to the production line proposed in the previous video. We divide the cycle time of each operation into the two contributions, automatic and manual. To find out these times in a reliable way, I recommend a direct observation of the production process at least five or 10 times. After the observation, let's imagine filling out a table. Welding cycle time equal 50 seconds equal 40 seconds automatic time plus 10 seconds manual time. Benching cycle time equal 120 seconds equal zero seconds automatic time plus 120 seconds manual time. Painting cycle time equal 180 seconds equal 160 seconds automatic time plus 20 seconds manual time. Assembly cycle time equal 100 seconds equal 0 seconds automatic time plus 100 seconds manual time. Looking at the table, it is simply calculated that for the production of one piece, there is a need for 250 seconds of human work. Once this information has been calculated, it is possible to proceed with the calculation of the workforce required in relation to the customer demand and therefore to the tact time. The mathematical formula is as follows. Workforce equals sum of manual times over tact time. Let's see some calculation examples for this production line with different tact time scenarios. If the tact time equal 125 seconds, the necessary workforce will be equal to 250 seconds, 125 seconds equal two people. If the tact time equal 250 seconds, the necessary workforce will be equal to 250 seconds over 250 seconds equal one person. If the tact time equal 100 seconds, the necessary workforce will be equal to 250 seconds over 100 seconds equal 2.3 people. How do we settle this with decimals? When the calculation of the workforce results are in decimal numbers, I recommend that you rely on this rule of thumb. If the decimal number is less than x.5, do not add another operator, but launch a Kaizen event to reduce waste in manual time. If the decimal number is greater than x.5, add an operator to avoid the risk of not satisfying the customer request and plan Kaizen events to reduce waste. Common mistakes to avoid. Mistake one. Too little time is spent observing the process in a shared manner with the operators both in the case of an existing line and in the case of a new line to be designed, it is essential to involve the people who will work on it. If there is no shared decision on how much the cycle time of each single operation is, errors will be made in the calculation of the workforce that could have negative impacts on both the customer and the company. Mistake two, tact time calculation is not accurate. During this tutorial, I have highlighted how the accurate calculation of tact time is fundamental for all other derived formulas. Calculate tact time accurately. Mistake three, do not reevaluate the calculation of the necessary workforce regularly. The workforce calculation for the production line should be reviewed whenever there is a significant change in the customer's request. If the customer request changes and the same tact time cannot be maintained, the workforce need must be recalculated. Conclusions As you have seen in this miniseries, the calculation of the tact time is of fundamental importance to plan the correct use of machines and men. Through tact time, you will be able to find out if you have the machines and men necessary to satisfy the customer's request. Furthermore, through the tact time bar chart and the calculation of the necessary workforce, you will also have clear indications of where and when to launch Kaizen events that have an immediate impact on the creation of value for the customer. 
Thanks for watching this video, remember to subscribe to the channel. In the description, you will find other useful resources on the subject.